What is up YouTube? Back for another quick video on the 24 Bronco Sasquatch. Today I'm super excited for this video. We're going to be installing some new NGK One Step Colder Spark Plugs and our new JB4 Piggyback Tuner. All right guys, so uh, the star of the show obviously is our JB4. I am super excited. I finally got around to getting the tuner now for the Bronco. Um, obviously it is the 2.3 liter turbo uh, engine that I have in my Big Ben Sasquatch. And uh, it's got about 2000 miles on it now. Currently it has a K&M cold air intake, a blow off valve spacer, a Borla axle back, and a throttle controller. So now it is time to add our piggyback tuner. So quick unboxing, you get a couple stickers, key tag, get your OBD2 port. I went with the wireless Bluetooth option as well. So we're gonna open this up and we're gonna attach this so that we control everything from our phone with the JB4 app and change tunes on the fly. And then here you have your actual JB4 device itself with your harness. So we will go over how we're gonna take this apart and set up the Bluetooth function and get all this installed before we get to any more of that. We got to talk about our spark plugs. So, for adding the new tune beam, we're going to add three to four uh, more pounds of boost and some more power. We're going to go with one step colder spark plugs. So, I went with the trusty NGK 6510s, run these in my Cobra, run these in a lot of my old applications as well. So, um, we are going to now gap these to a 0 0.026, a little bit uh, tighter of a gap than the factory, as well as one step colder. So the type of gauge that I use, uh, they have those ring circle ones. I don't really like those too much. It can kind of mess up the tip of the spark plug. So I use the mini blade feeler gauge. So we're gonna set this up. I'll show you how to gap these real quick. We'll get them all to the 0.026. Then we'll go over how to remove the factory ones, install these new ones, and then we'll install the JB4. So let's get to it. All right, so first things first, we're gonna grab your feeler gauge. You're gonna find the proper millimeter, which we have the 0.026 right here if you can see it probably not camera is being oh uh, there she is 0.026 all right so we'll take our first spark plug we're going to check the gap right now oh damn looks pretty good it's probably a 0.028 or so right now so it's just a little too loose so what we're going to want to do is i just use a piece of cardboard here we're going to just give it slight push down just to make it a little bit tighter and then we'll check it a little more and there you have it perfect just slides in there no problem so we're going to do that with the other three of these and then these plugs are gapped and all set to drop in. All right, now that the spark plugs are done, we're gonna open up the back of the actual tuner device and we're gonna install the DMD Bluetooth module. So included is the actual device here, two screws, and the Allen key. So we're just going to take off the four bolts here, and we're going to get this installed. Alright, first thing we're going to do is we're going to take this cover off so that we can access all four Coil packs, we're gonna pop out the four coil packs, pop out the plugs, and start threading the new ones. Burning the bridge that keeps us. I'm here and I'm feeling. Exaggerated, that's what you assume. The story's over now, I must conclude. I am conflicted, watching where I step still. Hanging in the balance, not the life I want to live. I want to take it all, standing tall. Fear I'm the person you are. 
All right, now that we have the spark plugs in, we're going to start installing the JB4. Uh, we're gonna mount it right here on the fuse box. It's gonna tap in to the two sensors, and then we're gonna run the OBD2 cable through the dead pedal, download the app, and we'll fire the sucker up. All right guys, now under the car, you have this big grommet right there. We're gonna to try to use our plastic pry tool or a flathead, slide the grommet over so that we can run the end of the OBD2 wire through the firewall and connect it to the JB4. All right, once you have it through the firewall, you're just gonna plug in the OBD2 port and then we're gonna tuck the wires, which we just did. And you can see here, we ran it right through. It came right through that grommet and we plugged it right into the JB4. Now we're just gonna clean off the top of the fuse box cover with some alcohol. We're gonna use some 3M tape to adhere this down and then we're gonna fire up. All right guys, we fired her up. She's running good. We're letting her get to operating temp. No check engine lights, no errors, no codes. Right now, the default is on map one. So we're gonna go take it for a test spin, mess around with map one, map two, and map three. And then I'll be sure to do a follow-up video and let you guys know how I like it and how it is. But uh, hopefully this helps. The whole install took me about, I don't know, half an hour or so. Not too bad, don't need any crazy tools or anything. Pretty straightforward. So thanks for watching and be sure to stay tuned for some follow-up videos on the 24 Bronco. Yeah. Mm -hmm.